Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Unbound. Last episode we made our way to Crater Town where we're going to explore and get the second gym badge. We also got a free Yanovan starter which we picked Oshawa because it's, uh, it's pretty good for the team right now. Our team's looking real nice. We got a side quest to run like 150,000 steps which I have done or I'm very close to doing. Um, yeah 144 more steps by the time we get to the uh, the dude we can get the reward and hopefully it's pretty good. What I did is basically in this little cave over here, you can go in and you can run all the way up and then all the way down. I did that for like 10 minutes and uh, yeah, managed to get the, the steps done. So let's run back. I think I have a repel I can pop. That would make life so easy. One repel. Okay. Let's try and get back pretty quick. Pretty sure about everyone's were good. And then we'll get back to Crater Town. I did not grab that item though. I missed that. Let's so go grab that right now. Uh, burn me. We'll go fire. Bang. Actually, pretty bad idea because the rain's up. Eh, yeah, dual chop will do. Yanma. Um. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just keep dual chopping. You ain't gonna beat my gabite. Alright. Oh, and I'll go battle you as well. Uh, Carly, on the other hand, could be a pain in the butt. One more fire thing, sweet. Right, let me grab this. Got to revive, and now I'm starting to think there's multiple ways to go. Wait, is that a Zygarde cube? It is! That's a cube, cell. Just caught that in the uh, corner of my eye. Oh, daycare? Oh, Kidoki, I took a wrong turn, but I found the daycare, which is pretty good. Can we get any uh, free stuff here? Okay, you seem like an important trainer. Can you help me raise up my Pokemon? Yeah, sure. Let's go. For a split second, I thought you meant you're gonna give me a Pokemon to raise for you, but now I, I now I know you mean battle, which is uh, a little disappointing. <laughs> Alright, let's get a focus energy. Uh, Cleffa, let's let's go Metal Sonic. Also, you guys have been telling me apparently the second gym puzzle is uh, very very hard. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But what we'll do is we'll quickly explore the daycare in case we can get like a free egg or something. Um, we'll go back to the, the runner, hand in this uh, mission and get the reward for that. Hopefully it's like pretty good. And then we'll go back to Crater Town, explore that, and then we'll take on the gym. And we've got the freeze, let's go! Now it's time for that rollout. And you, okay. That's fine. Got another rollout. Yeah, critical hit. One more. Sorry, Rolts, you're about to get destroyed by Rollout. <laughs> oh, you still more Pokemon? <laughs> Rollout keeps going. And we're evolving. Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Right, gonna get our do what? He's doing what? <laughs> Alright, yeah, so we call the daycare. Go and get this uh, mission handed in. I, I don't know which way I've even gone, to be honest. I, I missed all of this coming down. I didn't even realize. So come back tomorrow to help train my baby. Okay, so we can just keep um, grinding off her every day then, it seems. Uh, I'm good. Okay, Helen from Crater Town. Where did he get it from, though? Last I remember, there were no wild Clefairy around here. No wonder the uh, the one in the yard looks so sad. He has no friends, oh. There's another Porygon, like this. Wait, what? Hold on to 100, okay. So it's always a storage system. Okay, I forgot. But I, said, I remember seeing a, a, a Porygon in a different building. It's just a storage system. So poor man can have a free egg? No, okay. Just sometimes you speak to a uh, the old man at the daycare and he's like, Yo, uh, actually I'll help you research, why not? Start off, please bring me a Badoo. Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's probably not going to happen for a while. Unless I find one. Alright. Badoo, Badoo, Badoo. Oh, there's a Sackler Fairy. So sad. Anyway, it was this way. There he is. This is the guy we need to speak to. Oh, I'm sure your legs are tied off that workout. Here, take this small snack so you can get ready for le part two. You got 50 carbots. Nice. Okay, but there's a part two. How many steps do you want me to run? Oh. Unless maybe someone else gives us part two. Maybe we'll growl if. Okay. 
Uh, didn't mean to go for bite, meant to go for sand tomb, but it's all good. Right, let's get back. We can't get that TM, I believe, so we need cut. We need to get around there. I don't think we can get around there. I'll try real quick, just in case. I wish I had more repels. Oh, I'll definitely buy some more soon. So yeah, the daycare was up this way. Yes, yeah, so we missed the daycare because we went south straight away. No, we didn't. We went down this way, over here. And we got the Unovan um, starters there, and then I went down. Yeah, that's how we missed it. It's all good, though. Got it now. Rightio. So, let's go get healed up. Got this guy again in my Pokemon Center. You know that Vega fellow? He's always so dark and moody. Ha 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 ha. I don't know him, but if he's dark and moody, that's going to be uh, it's gonna be great. Oh, if you don't know what Mega Evolution is, think of it as a Mega Power Up. Oh, I think someone said as well that you do need strength. Use strength outside that like Mega Evolution tablet we saw back on episode 4. So once I get strength, I'll go back there. Because getting Mega Evolution would be sick. Uh, yo, what's up? Hey, trainer. What? You want me to say something interesting? Fine, then. Lately, I've been having trouble with my brother. He's got himself in deep with this gang calling themselves the Black Ember. I don't really know what it's all about, but I'm really worried for his, for his safety. I haven't spoken with him in days, so I'm afraid something bad has happened to him. What's that? You'll be willing to check up on him for me? Sure. Okie dokie, thank you. You can probably find my brother in the Northern KBT Expressway. I'd go myself, but I'm too weak of a trainer. They say these black and are insanely vicious. Sounds good, we'll go check that out a little bit. Get loads more side quests, door is locked. Okie dokie. Oh. Alright, got some uh, shadows down there. What's up? Mudder, mudder. Wait for signal. Whisper, whisper. Asset on lookout. Mudder, mudder. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, what we got in this house? What's up, dude? I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move that Pokemon can learn growing up. I'm also a heart scale maniac. Uh, do I even have a heart scale? I don't think so. Okie dokie. I mean, the 50 car boss is really good, though. Uh, let's see. Yo, what's up, boy? Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Did you know that if you talk to the gym referees before beating the gym leader, they'll give you a free gift? Did you? Did you? Yes. Well, then. Did you know that if you talk to the gym referees after beating the gym leader, they're... Oh, what? I didn't. Okay. So I get a free gift after I uh, beat the gym leader. Cool. 30 years ago, a large meteorite was hurtling towards Boreas. The astronomers in Seaport City predicted that if it wasn't stopped, it would fall directly on Valley City, this city, and end all life living here. With great haste, we began our evacuation of the city. As we were about to make our escape through the KBT Expressway, we heard the news. The meteorite was now predicted to crush half of the region. If we attempted to flee underground, there would be a large chance that we'd be buried alive. Chaos ensured. All was fought hopeless, until he arrived. Aros, the legend. He arrived alongside Arceus and used a small Pokemon to teleport everyone to East Boreas, safe from harm. He planned to attack the meteorite head-on and smash it to bits. Once he had transported everyone to safety, it said that he rode on a Rayquaza and smashed into the meteorite. It shattered and most of the smaller fragments fell on Valley City. The city was destroyed, but Aros had saved the region. I will never forget the heroic act that man performed. Oh, that's pretty cool. My grandfather survived the meteorite strike lots of years ago. He even made a friend with a Pokemon that fell from the star. Ooh. Fell from the stars? Deoxys, maybe? Clefairy? Comes from the moon, doesn't it? Like, come from the stars, pretty much. Um, short for King Boreas III. He was the King of Boreas that created the concept of a region wide highway. Pretty cool. Right, so we need um, Rock Climb to get that. And then we got a Pokemon here. Uh, got another house. Lots to explore in this town. Lots to explore. Each day, groups of Pokemon roam around Boreas. My daughter loves hearing about these Pokemon on TV, and she's been dying to meet one of them. Don't by any chance happen to have a Carablast, do you? Uh, I do not. <laughs> you know what I saw on TV? Route 9. They said there's a whole bunch of Carablast there. Have we even been to Route 9? I don't think we have. Let me check the town map. 
Uh, town map. No, Route 9 is really far away. It's like here. Maybe go there like... Next episode, maybe the episode after. But let's go to the KBT Expressway. Oh! Hey, yeah, you. You little brat there. Get over here. Hey, who said you can pass through here? This place belongs to us, the Black Emerald. It's like our gym, kid. So scram. Toddle off home to your ma. You little goody two-shoes punk. No, I don't think I will. What did you say, you little creep? I'll teach you to take the Black Emerald seriously. I'll pummel your pretty Pokemon right down to the ground. With relish. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Ooh, I like that coats, man. Can I can I get one? Got a tap tap here. Makes sense. Let's go for a nice sand tomb. Ooh, that was good damage, but okay, you finished off. In a coffin. Um, yeah, we'll stay in. Why not? Got fire fang. Or bite. I'm gonna get the flinch. It's all good. And the last Pokemon is a Grimer. Which we can go for a sand tomb. Oof, so close, so close. One more. There we go. Easy peasy. Really bad. Yeah, you are. You're really bad. Don't get all high and mighty because you beat me. If you really want to pick a fight with the Black Emble, go duke it out with our leader. He's somewhere in this tunnel. Sounds good. Also, I just need to double quickly check. I want to take you on. Uh, yeah, it's all still recording good. A kid? Yeah, I'm a kid. With the little emblem like, symbol that comes up as well. It's so cool. What you got? Tepig? I think they're all going to start off with Tepig, aren't they? Need to really heal up in a second. Saland it. Uh, that would be fine. I can just get one sand tomb off. And I miss, but... There you go. Alright, let's heal up. Get lost punk. Is that a beard you got, dude? It's like one killer beard. Yeah, it's pretty cool, dude. Sup? You think you can just come in here and mess with the black emblem? I do. I really do. Oh, you got a numble. Let me guess, you're not good enough to have a tepig? <laughs> uh, coffin. Let's go. Bite. Let's try a dual chop. Nice. Can I get rid of this poison? Antidote. And then another potion. Alrighty. What's up? Uh, do you know who who we are? We're the Black Emblem. I know. I've been told like 50 times now. You're not intimidating. You're not strong. You guys suck. Coffin. Okay. Uh, dual chop ya. One more dual chop. Oh no, we missed. Bad, 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 bad. I'm gonna get taken out by the poison though now. Unless I can switch out. Nope. Uh, this is actually kind of bad for us. Gonna go roll out. And maybe I can just get a few off and oh, nope. <laughs> not good, not good. Um, this is still not good actually. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Got the poison. Nice, 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 nice. Gonna go and heal up after this real quick because we desperately need to. Ooh, still fine, still fine. Got the poison. Exactly what we needed. And then we can go gin and then go for a razor shell. Yeah, that XP, level 21, nice. And Fury Cutter, no, we're good. Are oh, you still more Pokemon if that was it? Oh, this is gonna be close. One more Razor Shell. Got a critical hit, and you poisoned me, and we missed! No, are you kidding? That's horrendous luck. I literally just needed to land that Razor Shell, and then I, I take him out. That's so bad. All right, let me go heal up. I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, we're back, nice and healthy. Uh, already beating you. Uh, did I beat this one? Probably not. Uh, it's dangerous. Maybe I did battle these kids. Okay, I don't remember. Alright. Oh. What do you think you're up to, brat? This is the Black Emblem's ultimate paradise. A little pest like you has no business here. Couldn't be that you think you can stand up to me, the head of the Black Emblem. Yes, I think I, I can. <laughs> Bring it. You got your share of guts, kid. I'll show you what the guy who holds the black emblem together can really do. If he doesn't have an emblem, I'd be very disappointed. Oh, he's a big strong lad, isn't he? Alright, uh, you got a coffin. Uh, let's go... 
Congo Santing's got levitate. That flinch is good though. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Salandit, yeah, we can stay in. Go for a sand tomb. Good, one shot on it. Uh, curse, nope. Didn't need to learn that. Grimer's all good. Oh, Alolan Grimer. One more sand tomb. Then bring out the Emboar. Come on, it's gotta be an Emboar, right? Surely. Oh, Pig Knight, okay. Sand tomb it is. Half damage. And then who can finish you off? Maybe Jin, if we can get the XP, that'd be really great. Yeah, we good, we good. I just want my arm frost lowers your speed, right? Oh, come on, we live this. You got a crit. Of course you got a crit. <laughs> uh, Poison Fang to finish you off, and then we win. There we go. Really thought do what could do that, but... Unfortunately not. Go ha ha. Go ha ha to you, sir. You ain't half bad, kid. I like you. Get a look at this. From now on, our team name is going to be the Black Voltsy. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, we're taking on your rough and tough name. It's a wilder name for a wilder team. The Black Voltsy. Ah ha ha. That's awesome. What? You want something else, kid? My bro? Jeez, that punk never quits. Alright, as a favor to you for beating me, I'll go with you. I told you time and time again, bro. Quit trying to mess with the Black Emboar. I can't, James. You're my brother. You mean everything to me. And I can't let you go down this path any longer. You claim you care about me, but you really ain't got no guts, bro. You keep sending these trainers to harass me because you're too scared to get your own hands dirty. This kid, Voltsy's. Well, Voltsy's got guts. Let me tell you, no one's ever wrecked me as good as he did. I've even renamed the Black Emboar to Black Voltsy after him. So it's time for a fresh start. The Black Voltsy and I are moving to... Antisis City? Hey, the old gang that used to run that joint got run out of town. Terra Gramble, something or other. And that city is ripe for the picking by the Black Voltsy. Ha <laughs> ha. But James, you can't just leave me all alone. I thought about making you one of us too. I can't have someone who's weak in my squad. Instead, I've decided to let Voltsy join our ranks. Ooh. Welcome to the Black Voltsy, kid. All members gotta have a bike, so take this. Oh, nice. Got a motorcycle. As a powerful motorbike, all members of the Black Voltsy own. You can press L to activate the turbo boost, or you can take it easy and pedal. Uh, look us up if you ever come by Antiza City. Oh, I definitely am. 100%. So you got caught, caught up in all of that. May have lied when I told you I hadn't heard from my brother. In truth, I knew he was the leader of the Black Emboar. I just thought you wouldn't have wanted to help if you knew it'd be going up against that leader. But now he's gone for good, and I'm, I'm left all alone. Anyway, thank you for helping me. Please this TM. Ooh, work up's not bad. Uh, let him know that I'm still worried about him. And was like, yeah, mission complete! Right in your face. <laughs> right, let's check this motorbike out, dude. And then, oh, turbo boost. Woo! Yeah, boy! We're on a motorbike! Let's go! Oh. Out the way, dude. I need to go get healed up. Go to the mart. And then we'll um, go take on the gym. And hopefully uh, it isn't too difficult. Now we've done a lot this episode. Oh, a lot already. All right, let's get some repels for like later on. Get 25. All right. Gonna save it in case I get absolutely destroyed. That way I can just save my money and everything. Oh, it's you, champ of the making. I didn't see you there. Welcome to the Creator Town Gym. Let's start you off with some fresh water. Thank you very much. As you can or can't see, this gym is centered around dark types. If you want to win here, you're going to need some powerful fighting, bug, or fairy types. Getting to Vega, the leader, is relatively simple. Navigate the dimly lit hallways and don't get spotted. If you get spotted, you'll either have to battle some trainers or be sent back to the beginning of the hallway. Okay, the, each trainer battles, uh, brightens up the, um, the room. I'm fine with that. There's been some games I've played where the the halls don't get lit up, and I'm just like getting lost for ages. Oh, what? Okay, it's a train to battle at least. Brighten up the, the room, please. Yeah, a little bit bigger. 
Uh, what you got for us? Uh, so this is Sand Tomb U. Powder Snow, both of you, I guess. And roll out. Nice. Easy, dude. Ooh. Got Sofa there. Sup? Uh, do you think you have what it takes to take on Vega? A little bit. But quite frankly, I'm going to fight all of you for the XP. Not that we really need, or I mean, do what needs it, but, um... I mean, you don't really need to grind up because the, the gym's level scale. Oh, okay, gotta be quick there. Wait for it to go, wait for it to go. Go, 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 go! Ah. Okay, it's gonna be annoying. Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We go. Ah, no! Oh, we stop back here. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, it's not too bad. Ah! <laughs> ah, dude. No, it's hard to like. Hard to time everything right. All right, and I go. Wait. Oh, dude. I can see why people say it's hard. Like, it's not hard like I thought it was going to be hard, but it's just like... It's going to be stealthy. I say stealthy, just... Good timing. Uh, oh, I got stuck! If you walk into him, it, it stops you for a second. Ah, oh, dude. It's so annoying. Okay. If I don't do it this time, I'm going to cut to when I do do it after this one next attempt, because I'm going to be here forever otherwise, and we don't want to be doing that. Okay, I'll cut when I do it, because I'm going to be here forever otherwise. Okay, we've done it. Oh my goodness, that was, uh, that was tough. It's good though, alright. Uh, so let's just take you on and see what you got, and then we can make a plan after we uh, know what Pokemon you have. So, ah, I see a challenger has passed my test. Tell me, what's your name? Voltsy, I see. I'm Vega, the leader of the Critter Town Gym. The somber atmosphere of this town has allowed me to channel all of my dark energy into one place. Are you prepared to face it? I hope so. Dude looks like a secret agent. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll say secret agent, like uh, secret service or something. But uh, let's go. Let's go Fire Fang first. I'll fake out. Sure, saw that coming. Not bad damage. Can we use potions in battle? I forgot if we can or not. Oh, perfect. Good, otherwise that would have been quite difficult. All right, one more potion. Oh, you want to draw it? Okay, that's fine. Sand tomb time! Hoo-hoo! One shot on it, boy! Oh, Gabite too good. Gabite too good. Hey, Jin level 23. Once I get back to um the pre Dresco town, I can train up, do what really quick. But, uh, oh, you're going to go for fake out, aren't you? Yep. It's all good, it's all good. One more Fire Fang should finish you off. Lovely jubbly. Level 36, let's go. Sneasel, ooh. Alright, better switch. I'm gonna go into Metal Sonic for this. I'm gonna try a rollout. Ah, oh, fake out, you suck. And got Dark Gem, okie dokie, this is... To sizzle next then I guess. Uh, let's go incinerate. Oh that damage. Uh, it's not looking 
too great for us. So in that case, I'm going to use this turn to heal you up. And you healed up as well. Great. I'm so happy. Right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to go will o -Wisp first. I was really hoping I could live a turn, but it's fine. Um, Fire Fang it is. We're going to probably die. <gasps> we lived! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. An Absol. Last Pokemon. Oh, prepare yourself for my trump card. Let me guess. Mega Absol? Oh, no. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's going to go for one Sand Tomb. Get that continuous damage going. Fire Fang. And just need to heal up once and then the Sand Tomb will finish you off. Right? Hey! Let's go! I love this music that plays like the Generation 5 music, like when you're about to win a gym battle. It's so, so good. Makes you feel so epic. Nice. Well done. You'd make a fine agent. Hey, thank you. Let's review your victory at the Credit Town Gym at Take the Vision Badge. Ooh, got some, some cool shades. So the Vision Badge makes all Pokemon level 40 obey you, then includes even outsiders you receive in a trade. You can also use the HM Cut anytime outside a battle. Use it to cut down small trees to open up new pathways. I want you to have my favorite team as well. But we still need to find Cut. I don't know who's going to give it to us, but... We'll look around town again, maybe someone will give it to us. But one last piece of advice. Try to stay in the light and out of the shadows as much as possible. If you follow this advice, it will not bring you to ruin. I promise. Okie dokie. And you go back to the start, and free gift. Ooh, dark gem. Sweet. <laughs> oh. The asset has sent word. The target is on the move. Alright then. Let's move into position. Well, that's not good. Alrighty then. Um, well, we'll go see what the shadows are up to. We'll be doing that next time, so thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.